Hello makers, this is Miss Lee at the lab and I've got another challenge for you. Today most of you were able to get your robots going forward, backward, left, right, and stopping. Some of you still need to work on the stopping. But today we're going to try a new challenge and if you have seen my black line that I've made on the table with my uh, electrical tape, electrician's tape, uh, you know what's coming up. So this is the line following challenge. And I'm going to show you the first bit of code and then you're going to have to figure out the rest of it. So uh, let's check out Rainer's robot. Here's Rainer's robot, which he doesn't even know that I'm using his robot for this. So uh, surprise Rainer. We're going to start with our code now. And we're going to start with when our mbot starts up. I want it to do this forever. Even if then. So the way that your robot works is there is a line sensor, which are these four little cameras. There's sensor one, are you here? And there's sensor two. And the way it works is if your line detects, line sensor detects black, the lights are off. If it detects white, the lights are on. So if half of the camera is on, if sensor two is on white, that light lights up. If sensor one is on white, then it will light up. So it can detect light colors like white and dark colors with a fair degree of accuracy. A white table is best and black black tape is best. It doesn't really work with color tape at all. So we're gonna what we're gonna want to do is we want the robot to follow the black line. And then when it hits the edge, the white edge, and the camera senses white, we want the robot to correct itself by turning until the sensor goes off again. So again, when your robot is rolling, it's going good. Oh, this sensor detects white. We want it to correct itself and go back to black. So how are we going to do that? Ooh, good question. We're going to use the sensor block. And the sensor block, we're going to use this big scary looking one which says the line follower sensor detects, that means it can see or senses if the left sensor is black or the right sensor is black or ooh, doo, 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 both sensors are black. So my line detector sensor is connected to port, port, I don't know. Oh, port, this port, wait, no, that's the wrong one. This line detector is connected to my port number two, which you can see right here. So I'm going to make sure that's set to port 2, beautiful. And if both sensors detect black, I want this robot to go head forward. All, all engines forward. We'll go at 50%. It's pretty fast. Let's see if that works. And if it detects, uh, so let's see what that does actually. So we're going to test it. Everybody cross your fingers. Okay. Quick upload, here we go. Let's see. If so now it's just going forward. It went right over. It's gone. There it goes. So, oh, what's the problem, Miss Lee? Don't you know how to code? Well, dears, let's try that again. If the line follower sensor detects both being black, it's going forward. Well, technically, yes, I guess it is, even though it never stops. So now I want it to detect if the left one is seeing white, I want it to turn. I want it to stop, let's try that. Okay. So that's if the left one, that's this one, detects white, I want it to stop. So let's see if that works. Oh, it worked. Okay, let's try that again. Oh. So anytime this left sensor detects white, it's stopping. The white right one we don't really care about because I haven't coded it yet. But So it's going to go until this sensor turns blue. Oh, look at that. Oh, that one turned blue. So it's stopping. So now we want it to start turning instead. So when it hits there, we want it to turn. So actually, I'm going to change this to turning. If the left sensor is on, we want it to turn right. Turning right. So let's try that. So 
So now let's see if it corrects itself. Go, 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 go. Oh, ah, ah! Whoa. No, oh, still looking. Hi. Okay, so my challenge to you is we have the first part of this line follower code correct. It will turn, but it cannot do the other way. So you have to figure out how to do the second half of the code. The first part of my code, uh, the first part of the code works, but the second part does not. The robot is only turning to the right right now. So here's a hint. You can take this block and you're going to copy it. Where's my right click? There we go. Duplicate it. And you're now going to say, oh, if it detects the right side, how do you want your robot to turn? I want you to play around with it. The worst thing that can happen is it just turns around in circles like this. Okay, guys, good luck with this one. It's intermediate to advanced, so get ready for some challenges with this design. See you tomorrow. Bye.